Hello guys, welcome. Uh, today we are going to see how we can uh, use an AWS IoT button to send a post request. Now, AWS IoT button is quite um, handy when you are trying to connect to different devices or services. Those are connected to internet. So you can do pretty much everything uh, to control or monitor a device or send notifications, emails, or HTTP requests to your services. Um, so today I just want to show how we can um, configure an AWS IoT button and then how we can uh, <coughs> send a web post request uh, to a service and essentially we will make use of this post request to many um, way to use it. Let's say today I can show you how can we send an SMS. For example, there's a lot of use cases where uh, you have kids at home and you just uh, can make this button as a panic button or send an information or even control your uh, um, smart home devices. There's pretty much a lot of things you can do. So here is the diagram I have drawn uh, to show how you are going to work today. So the first thing we are going to do is uh, uh, we are configuring the AWS IoT button and then uh, when we press the button, it should trigger a Lambda functions. And this Lambda function will uh, make a post request to a web service. Uh, in this case, I'm using the IFTTT website where they have uh, nice uh, applets you can use. Um, and then these applets can make different uh, notifications or they are connected to different services. And then uh, these web hooks from the IFTTT will send an SMS. So let's start it. So first thing first, here I'm in my browser. I'm going to write ifttt.com. And this website is here. It stands for if this, then that. Meaning that if you do something, what it shall do. So you need to create an account here. Of course, I have created uh, mine. So first thing we are going to do it, uh, we are going to new applet. So as you might see that if this, so you have to define what can be invoke the trigger. So in our case, we are going to say that, okay, we want uh, a post request. And in that case, there is a nice app called webhooks. We are going to find this one. Here it is. It was previously named Maker. You may have heard about Maker app, so uh, they changed the name. So it's receive a web request. So when this Maker app receive a web request, it will trigger an action. So first, we are going to tell that, okay, if this happens, and this is that uh, receiving an uh, web request. So let me call it uh, button pressed, create trigger. Now, the this part has been done. Now what we want to do with that event? So let's click here that we of course want to send an SMS. You can make a Facebook post, you can have a LinkedIn post or a Twitter post. You can send an email. That's a lot of things, but in our case, we are doing an SMS. So let me choose this one. So send me an SMS. Now, of course, you can uh, uh, customize the message and say that uh, whatever it is like, uh, uh, hi, pick me dad. Maybe you have a kid waiting at the school uh, by picked up by you. So create action, finish. Now uh, we need the URL link to uh, post the request. The post request should be uh, used in the Lambda functions so that uh, the trigger can be done. 
For that reason, we will go back to the webhooks and click on the documentation. You will see that there is a link where make a post or get web request to. In our case, we need to put the event name that we called it button pressed. So you need to copy this link and save it so that we can use it later. That's all. We are done with this part now. Webhooks with the FTTT. So our webhooks is ready to accept a post request from the button, which will eventually come from a Lambda function. And uh, that is also ready to send an SMS. So now we need to configure our Lambda functions. So let's uh, go back to the to my console. I'll open the command line. And first I'm going to create, um, OK, let me check if I have uh, uh, the Node.js. So you, you should check if you have uh, Node installed in your machine. So let me check the version. Sorry, version. Yes, I got the 10.14.1. Um, now let me make a directory. Let me call it uh, IoT button IFTTT and change the directory to that button IoT button IFTTT. Now I'm going to open this uh, folder from my Visual Studio code. You can use whatever uh, ID you like to use. So code. So here I am. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the request uh, from the terminal because we are going to use the request. So npm uh, install request and also I'm going to save it. Yes, started installing, it's done. As you might see that we got the node module and the package. Now I'm going to create a, a new file, which can be index.js. This is the function we are going to use. So this is quite a simple function. Our uh, primary goal is to send a post request. And that's all because we really don't need to create, uh, uh, pass any message itself. Just a ping can be good enough. So we are exporting handler. Functions should have event and context. So we take a variable call request, which will require request. And then we will use this variable to make the post. And uh, we will have two um, input here. One should be the URL link where we want to post and the function itself. But uh, we are going to use a variable. So process environment. 
and then uh, let me call ifttt url and then the function itself which will essentially have the error the response and the body of course in our case the body doesn't contain anything so if we get an error we throw an error and then we print that everything is fine like being sent and basically that's all so now what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna save these files and uh, with this not modules and the package with the centers i will zip this folder which we are gonna upload in the lambda so let's get back into the aws console so i'm at uh, aws management console you can create a free account um, to use the services so i click on the services i'll go to the lambda under compute console uh, we are going to create a new one as you might see i have some created already so we'll create a function which will be called uh, something like iot iot if ttt lambda i'm using node.js i can use an existing role if you don't have created a role already you can just click here and create an existing role and lambda will uh, be essentially assume that role to perform necessary steps so i'm choosing an existing role this one then create function so we have created the function as you see we got a nice looking built-in ide provided by aws but we are gonna upload the file that we created in node.js the file is here the zip file uh, then we can just save it okay so this is the code uh, in the index make sure that the index handler here so that it can export the handler you, you get, can get the information Uh, about so the index handler calls the export handler in no index the javascript file as you might see that we are uh, passing the url in the variable this is simply because the best practice because you might share your code in github and many places and you don't want to uh, use your key uh, you don't want to expose it so it's always a good practice to use an environment variable and here is the variable we need to put so that was uh, ifttt url and the value should be the url itself where we need to post so pretty much that's fine uh, the role and description Yes, here you might see that the timeout is three seconds so sometimes it may take more time for lambda to perform the job in that case you will get an uh, that case you can always increase the timeout like 10 seconds five seconds whatsoever uh, so we are going to save this So it's successfully saved. Now, what we want this lambda to do, if you go back to our, uh, uh, here we can see that we have done this part. So our 
uh, web hooks is ready to accept any web request with post method. And then we have the Lambda function actually, which will create that post request. And um, uh, to create that post request, we need to, of course, press the button now. So that's the only thing we need to configure. So if we go back, we can uh, uh, connect our uh, trigger to this function. You see that in the left hand side, we have many triggers you can choose. Of course, we are using a IoT. So configuration required. So let you configure our IoT. The type is IoT button. Device serial number, you will find it uh, in the back side of your IoT button. So here is the steps required to configure our IoT button. And uh, you may see that AWS has really nice instructions here. So what we need to do is we need to press our button for five seconds and then it will um, searching for uh, the connections and then we can uh, get into the uh, connection and then configure the buttons and all the necessary information to fill up the page is provided by AWS here so the certificate and private key we have already downloaded and the endpoint domain is this one and your region is you have to change this since as you might say i'm working from frankfurt right now so you central one you can be different and then uh, make sure that the enable trigger is uh, selected and then add so the trigger is set up now i'm going to show you how you configure the button and then we are pretty much done to test So now I am here at my browse. What I'm going to do is I am pressing my button for five seconds. Now the blue light flashing. So what you need to do then, you need to go to your network connections and find the IoT button. As you might see this one, button configure me. So you'll choose this one and connect. Yes, uh, we are connected now. What I'm going to do is 192.168.0.1. So here is the button configure me. Now, all the information required have been provided. The first one is your uh, internet, of course. Uh, mine is called 4G Mobile Wi-Fi SSID and uh, if you have any password for that one that should be put in here and the certificate private key we just downloaded from the AWS site that should be uploaded here and then the endpoint is also provided by the AWS and here you can see the region in my case is U Central one and then click this and then configure so we are done with the configuration. So let we test. Oh, let's try now. Here I got the button. I'm going to click it and let's see if everything works fine. Yes, it took a while actually. <laughs> Let me see. Yes, here's the message. Hi, pick me dead. So that's that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please let me know if you have any comments or if you have any issue setting up this project. And until then, take care. Bye.